Welcome to Luther's Large Catechism, Lesson 25, the lesson for the first week in May, The Last Injury. A man was complaining to his friend about his uh, evaluation. The, the county appraiser had, had valued his property and, and he was paying so much, so much in property tax. And uh, his friend said, well, how much is your property valued for? And he gave him the uh, valuation. And the guy said, well, you know, if it's too much of a bother for you to pay those taxes, I'll buy your property for what the county assessor valued it at. Are you crazy? The man said to his friend. It's worth much more than that. <laughs> Everyone wants to have the advantage over someone else. And the ninth and the 10th commandment uh, over and over again express the big idea. Do not scheme to put your neighbor at a disadvantage. Do not scheme to put your neighbor at a disadvantage. And yet this is a human drive, especially in business, that you have someone over the barrel. You want to get to a point where you got somebody over the barrel. You're the first one on the scene, uh, the first one to claim the forest, the first one to claim the farmland, the first one to discover this or that technological advantage. No one else has it, and you can make them pay through the nose as you enrich yourself, and then they benefit in turn from your uh, discovery or for your purchases. Perfectly fine and good. The world says, the Ten Commandments say, where did this all start? It started that you sought to have an unfair advantage over your neighbor, uh, to put him at a disadvantage so that, that he would have to give you more than he normally would. Um, this springs from a covetous heart. And certainly, uh, it causes injury to your neighbor. Luther finally comes to the point of the matter when he, perhaps in passing, says, uh, we are unwilling to see our neighbor enjoy what God has granted them. Yeah, that's the heart of covetousness. He has something I don't have. I want that. I don't like him having what he has. That's covetousness. Instead, we should rejoice, Luther says, over what our neighbor has. Uh, seek to help him to improve what he has and certainly not desire to damage our neighbor by seeking an unfair advantage over him. Um, the rules of society so often are set up not so much to produce justice, but to cover sin, especially a covetous heart. For the teachers, go to the Group Me um, staff meeting message thread, post a response and a reaction. To the members of the church who are taking it for the Sunday Bible class, go to the Green Valley Evangelical Lutheran Church Facebook page, go to the Luther's Large Catechism sub, sub page, and please, uh, put down a comment, uh, ask a question, ask for clarification. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching.